The looming battle over health care reform. The government says the final version of the bill will cost $940 billion over 10 years, but will reduce the projected budget deficit by $138 billion. House leaders say that Sunday is decision day. But the big question, do Democrats have enough votes to get it passed? CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is keeping a tally on Capitol Hill this morning. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Maggie. Well, here's where things stand right now. Assuming that they get no Republican votes, then Democrats can afford to lose at the very most 37 of their own members. And take a look at our CBS News tally. Right now, we're counting 20 Democrats who have already said they're voting no and 45 who are still on the fence. Those are the ones that the president is working so hard to convince. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. The President is spending these last critical days before the health care vote working to win over wavering House Democrats. I urge every member of Congress to consider this as they prepare for their important vote this weekend. He's postponed his trip to Indonesia and is meeting with holdouts, but he can't convince everyone. I'm a firm no on it. Congressman Stephen Lynch of Massachusetts supported the House bill back in November, but even after talking to the president, he feels this final bill doesn't do enough to curb insurance company abuses. We're paying the ransom, but uh, at the end of the day, the insurers, the insurance companies uh, are still holding uh, our people hostage. The final bill would extend coverage to 32 million Americans who are currently uninsured. It would close the gap in Medicare prescription drug coverage for seniors by the year 2020, and it would penalize businesses with more than 50 workers if they don't offer insurance. Some Democrats have been swayed by Mr. Obama's private talks. Congressman Luis Gutierrez of Illinois had been a no vote over concerns about health care access for illegal immigrants. After extensive discussions with the president, I believe we have a health care bill I can vote yes for. Now, a lot of those undecided members were waiting until they got a chance to see the final bill and the price tag before they made up their minds. They finally got a chance to see both of those yesterday. And so I wouldn't be surprised, Maggie, if starting today, we start to hear a lot of those members announce which way they're coming down. Back to you. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nancy, thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.